I'll start the race, so no punching below the belt. Yes. So, <laughs> so uh, keep it clean. Um, good luck. The family of Scott Westgarth on hand to start a sponsored walk in his memory. They say time's a healer, but not for John, who, like his son, was a professional boxer. Well, it's it's still unreal. It's still it's still very it still hurts a great deal. I think as as the days go by, it seems to get worse. It was at an English title eliminator at Doncaster Dome back in February. Underdog Scott Westgarth battled to a points decision win. In a post-fight interview, Scott talked about his love for the sport. He said, I just do it because I enjoy it. Win, lose or draw tonight, I would have just kept boxing. Because that's what I do. But minutes later, he was clearly in pain. Scott was taken to the Royal Hallamshire Hospital in Sheffield where he died. It's thought he suffered a bleed on the brain. It was everything that you want from a guy in your gym. Like I said, nice to be around, uh, just a friendly guy. I think if he's up there watching us, he'll be laughing because he, he, that's what kind of guy he was. He's a fun guy and that's even better that we're having a fun day. Scott saved the lives of five people because he was on the organ donor register. The thought that Scott is living and still living inside of other people and keeping, you know, keeping those people um, breathing and the hearts beating, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. And up of course again, bring them up. Would you? Back at his gym, boxing continues, but Scott Westgarth will forever be remembered. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North, Sheffield.